Well, well, well. If you haven't heard the news yet, I am officially no longer a professional sponsored scooter rider. I no longer ride for MGP Action Sports. I know it's probably a shock to a lot of you guys, but I left on my own terms. I have absolutely no hard feelings with anyone involved in Mad Gear or the brand itself. Me personally, I got into Mad Gear when I was 12. I'm now 17 years old, that's five years. I just kind of figured it's time for a change, you know? So I am still sponsored by Legacy and S1. So those are my two main sponsors now. As for another company sponsor, I have zero plans for a company sponsor. I haven't been talking to any companies. I'm just kind of riding for myself now and then we'll see what happens down the road. But with that being said, I do have a new deck that just came today and we're gonna unbox it. So I told Legacy that I was basically leaving Mad Gear on my own terms. Gavin hooked it up and he sent me this beauty. Inside here is the Fusion Entropy deck. I am super excited to get my hands on this and just to ride it because again, I haven't ridden anything but Mad Gear for the last five years and scootering has changed a lot in the last five years. So I'm hyped to finally just get out there, discover some new parts and see what I like. So without further ado, Let's open this thing up. We got our first things first in the box. Six mil Allen key with a little socket on it. This is actually very light for this big of a deck. Plastic. This thing is a beauty. Oh my God. As you can see at the bottom, fusion going down. The sick looking head tube the big cutout in the front this brake i'm not too sure how sturdy fusion brakes are so i will be cutting it down just so it doesn't snap as easily and it just looks better honestly in my opinion when brakes are cut down or you're riding a fender nice little six mil bolt at the back there that is very good i'm i'm even stoked in the axles because mad gear was just the five mil male to female axles it's kind of always bending those so hype to be riding a normal axle if that makes sense you know Five wide, 20.5 long, very, very excited. Not much else to say. I do have a fresh sheet of grip tape to put on there. So I'm gonna throw that on right now and then we're gonna head outside. We're gonna throw this on the whip. Yeah, I think we might get some clips on this thing. Anyways, quick transition to when the grip tape is on the deck. Also, thank you Legacy and Gavin, once again. Okay, I'm here in my garage on my phone. Sorry about the mess, but the bottom half is all done. Decided to throw on the Jordan Clarks. It's looking real good. It's time to throw on the bars. We'll get some cinematics for you. All right, so I've been riding this deck for about five to 10 minutes. So far, it's feeling really good. Honestly, one of the best decks I've ridden in my entire life. Kind of hard to say that when I've had it for so short, but it really does truly feel good. We got Connor, AKA stupid ass over there. He's gonna film me some show clips. Alrighty everyone, some quick chillers. I'm out of breath, so I'm wearing sweatpants, but we're all good. Deck, feeling super good. And yeah, shout out Legacy for hooking me up with it. That's it, I'm a free rider. Just Legacy S1, my own sponsors now. See where uh, the rest of my scootering journey takes me, but go down there, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below what, if there's any other decks you want me to try, honestly. I could ride anything now. Yeah, I'm out, peace. Celebrate. Like a Take off like a